32. Ja. Gott. Ja. Rolling. So. Dr. Knark. Dr. Bilo. Detmold. University of Applied Science, T-H-O-W-L. O-W-L, so they change their name every now and then. But this is actually my university. This is your alma mater. I know these buildings very well because I was part of the design and engineering team. Absolutely. But uh, we talk about the facade, don't yes. we? Yes, yes. And who do we meet? Um, Daniel Arzmann. Ah! He's the, the facade professor at this university, part of the network, blah, blah, blah. And uh, he's going to talk about the ventilated facade, the cavity facade. The laboratory. Yes. Ah, oh, wonderful. Let's go. Let's have a look. Daniel, this is a uh, ventilated facade, a uh, ventilated facade um, system. Mm -hmm. I somehow feel it's somehow hollow inside. What layer do we have and what function does it have to fulfill? Yeah, I get it back. You get it back for sure. Okay. Good. Yeah, the layer of this facade and the function of the facade, um, it's, it's a kind of um, weather protection, this facade. And the main function is it's a kind of aesthetical, um, the aesthetical layout of the building. And you said already it's kind of hollow, and that's also something that is important for this ventilated facade, because there's a ventilation effect behind. There's a, this is the outer layer. Outer, an, outer layer, okay. Exactly, outer layer. And um, behind this outer layer, we have an air cavity and this air cavity ventilates the facade behind. Then there comes an insulation layer and also a structural, um, the, the structural wall construction. Could be out of concrete, out of... Out, out of um, Masonry, brick. bricks. Yes, exactly. And um, yeah, this is the main layout and function of the facade. So there's an uh, inner layer, then there's some insulation somewhere, then there's this cavity, mm -hmm. and then there's the outer cladding, which is what we actually see here. Exactly, that it is. Typical materials for the main structure, for the insulation, for the cladding and for a support system because the cladding somehow needs to be fixed. Mm -hmm. Typical materials um, for, the, for the main structure, so for the, for the could be a massive wall construction, could also be a um, skeleton structure. For a massive wall construction normally we have the masonry or we have their a concrete wall. Then in front of that we have this insulation layer, this can be a soft insulation, can also be a hard insulation. And um, this, this might be, um, could be, could be um, some natural material like hemp or, um, or other things. Could also be um, glass wool or stone wool or whatever. And um, then the air layer is clear, that's air. that's air. And then you have the outside, we can use totally different materials. So it could be wood, could also be metal sheets. Here we have HPL, which is a um, high pressure laminate. Which in the end means it's a kind of, um, yeah, plastic surface, a resin exactly. plastic surface to, to cut it. Support exactly. system is mystic. This somehow needs yes. to be fixed somewhere. That's right. So you have a support system you see here, these, these fixing devices, and behind these fixing devices you always have a kind of substructure. And this substructure most of the time is out of a metal, could be aluminium, could be steel, and this is fixed to the, um, to the primary structure. So, so to there's, the massive wall what, there's uh, a, a substructure like this, and then these are fixed to the substructure. Exactly. And then in between there's the insulation. Exactly. That's how it works. And now we have this opaque facade. It's entirely opaque, mm -hmm. but um, facade functions are also to allow view to have a relation to the outside. That's right. So the window needs to be added. You're standing next to the window. Yes. How is that done? What are the difficulties and how is this in general done? Yeah, here we have the situation that we have um, this massive wall and then we have a kind of opening in there and um, we talk here about the principle of punched windows. So um, this is a typical punched window that is um, put inside a, in this massive wall construction and um, then we have here an attachment detail and that's very important, that's one of the most critical details because there are these two components come together. And, um, yeah, you, you need there a typical wall attachment um, which must be tightened. You're, it also has to fulfill physical functions like um, thermal functions and acoustic functions. And then finally you have to clad that here from the outside. This is done here with, with metal sheets. And here at the bottom you have the typical window sill because the water that gets through um, to the window has to be drained here to the outside. 
So say general principle, water flow, finds its way down here. If water comes here, it somehow needs to be made sure that it gets here and not into the system, which also means that this nice detail helps to make sure that it's not finding its way to the inside. Yes, okay. totally right. Dr. Bilo, are we done? Yep. Guys, we're done. Thank you very much. Let's grab a bite. <laughs>